Oh. My dad was so tired. He had severe diarrhea and profuse vomiting. My mum was so worried about him. And so was I. I took my father to see a doctor. The doctor suspected that he had cholera. Profuse vomiting, <laughs> watery diarrhea and sunken eyes are typical symptoms of cholera. We have seen a number of cases of cholera in this area recently. Watery diarrhea and profuse vomiting result in severe dehydration and can lead to death if not treated promptly. So treatment should start immediately by taking oral rehydration salts to compensate for the rapid loss of bodily fluids and minerals. If your father is severely dehydrated, he'll need to go to the hospital to be given intravenous fluids. We need to take a stool culture to see if it is cholera. There's no need to worry. Cholera can be easily treated, but only when one seeks medical care quickly, as you did. Cholera is not an airborne disease. It cannot be transmitted through coughing or sneezing. The bacteria that causes cholera is found in the feces of infected people. And infection may be spread through flies contaminated with a patient's feces or leakage from sewage contaminated with the bacteria that infiltrates drinking water or contaminates food. After learning more about cholera and how it spread, I decided to educate others about the disease and support them in their fight against cholera. My friends and I started a group in our neighbourhood to raise awareness of the disease and the ways to prevent it. Each of us has started by making sure that we have clean drinking water at home. We now boil water for two to three minutes before drinking it. Or sterilisation tablets can be added to water. You can pick these up free of charge from all health centres. Make sure you wash your hands with soap and clean water. You should wash all fruit and vegetables properly with safe clean water before eating them and peel them whenever possible. Serve and eat food hot and keep it covered to protect it from flies. We made home visits to tell people how to prevent cholera such as washing hands properly, especially after changing a baby's diapers or while nursing a patient with symptoms of cholera. Keep cooked food separate from raw food and don't drink unpasteurised milk. We intensified our efforts to make children aware of the importance of following simple precautions to avoid cholera. To wash their hands properly before eating and after using the bathroom. My friends and I are playing our part in the fight against cholera and you can too.